It's a DAC in amp, has three microphones, has Bluetooth 4.1 compatibility, NFC pairing, optical in and out, line in and out, OTG iOS, a dual gain switch, SBX call button, Android and iPhone compatibility, Android charging, eight hours of battery life, dual headphone jacks and low impedance. What in the world are we talking about? It's the new Sound Blaster E5. Other than your instruction manual and warranty, here's what comes with the E5. You get the E5 itself, a handy dandy clip that also hooks into a microphone stand, an optical cable, a mini USB to USB, and these little rubber band uh, looking bracelet things that actually help you hook the E5 to your phone. Here's a look at the device itself. Those three little notches are your microphones. Here's your NFC pairing. Uh, you've got your volume knob that's pretty well made. Uh, dual headphone jacks here. On the side, you got your power button, your SBX call button, your gain button, and uh, here's your optical in and out, out, your USB host, your mini USB, and overall, just a pretty cool little device, and I also really like this, uh, as I mentioned before, this uh, little stand that comes with it that has uh, a capability of screwing it into like a mic stand. Like all of Sound Blaster's E-Series line of products, this one comes with some pretty powerful software that allows you to really do a lot when it comes to the sound of the device itself. Uh, this is SBX Pro Studio that allows you to click surround, bass, bass off. I found the device a little bass uh, heavy when I first started, so I just clicked off that bass button. You have crystal voice, you have uh, direct mode for your speakers and headphones, you've got a mixer here, and of course your equalizer. And all of this just amounts to customization and really allows you to get exactly the kind of uh, lows, mids, and highs that you're looking for. Okay, so I wanna finish up this review by talking about the what the E5 is and what it isn't. What it is is a solid amp and DAC with a ton of features that really allows you to have functionality with all of your audio devices. What it isn't is a just straight up $200 amp DAC solution. You're paying a little bit for the features. What this means is the guy that wants to just get a straight up amp and DAC is probably better off with something else. Where this will have a lot of value is for those of you who are out and about who want to use the call features and want to use the microphones and want to use everything that this device has to offer. In terms of sound, the sound is good. The basses are excellent. I'd say the mids and highs are just mid-range quality. So, you know, there are $200 solutions out there where you could get excellent quality, but you know what? They won't have all these features with them. Clever solutions that Creative gave us, like this clip that can screw into your mic stand, really make it even more useful and kind of keep it off the desk and keep it from scuffing up your desk as well. The software is cool overall. It doesn't come with that scout mode option that would you get with the E3 that allows you to kind of adjust it to hear footsteps and things like that. Let me tell you, that's not really something I was using anyway, but it's cool to have the software that can allow you to really adjust those mid lows and highs to wherever you want them. Coming up shortly, I'll be talking about all of my PC builds for 2015 and we'll be reviewing this bad boy the Creative X7, which was a CES Innovations Award honoree for 2015. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you can help me out by pressing that like and subscribe button. You can also join our community at facebook.com slash top10gamer and learn more about any product that we discuss here at top10gamer.com. We'll see you next time.